Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be using the same card design. One card will feature die cuts and the other card will feature stamped images from the new Market Bloom collection. There's a new stamp set called You're So Sweet and new die set called Fruit and these are part of scrapbook.com's Market Bloom collection. The images are very similar. They're not the exact same size, but I thought it would be fun to use the same card design and make two different cards, one featuring the dies and the other featuring the stamp set. And my card will be featuring the lemon images. The You're So Sweet stamp set also has coordinating dies. For the sentiment on the card, I'll be doing the same thing. One will be stamped, the other will be die cut. I'm using the sentiment Hello Sunshine and the stamp version is on the Sunshine Bloom stamp set and the die version is on the Hello Sunshine Word die set. For pattern paper, I'll be using Honeybee Stamps Grain and Grunge collection. There's a fun variety of different wood grain designs. I'll also be using a variety of smooth cardstock paper pads from scrapbook.com. I've already gone ahead and cut out all of the die cuts and the papers for my card, and I have everything organized in the stack and sort trays. I'm using the larger tray for my card base and card panels, and the smaller trays for my die cuts. I selected two of the pattern papers from the Grain and Grunge collection, a white wood grain for the background. This piece is four inches by five and a quarter inches. And at the bottom of the panel, I'm adding a dark brown wood grain pattern paper, and this piece is four inches by two inches. I'll layer the background piece on some dark brown cardstock from Lawn Fawn. This piece is four and one eighth of an inch by five and three eighths of an inch. Then I'll put adhesive on the back, add my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. And the adhesive I was using is scrapbook.com's deluxe adhesive roller. Now I'll pull out all of the lemon die cuts and I'm adding just a little extra ink on the top of each of the lemons. The ink color is sauna from Catherine Pooler. And to help keep my area clean, I'm doing all of the inking on a white silicone mat from scrapbook.com. My first card will be featuring two of the larger lemons, two of the smaller lemons, and one of the lemon slices. I'll clean the ink off my silicone mat, then I'll start assembling the lemons. And I'll do all of the gluing on the silicone mat, that way I don't get it all over my craft mat. The nice thing about using the lemon images, there aren't a bunch of small die cut pieces that need to be assembled. And that's true with most of the images on the fruit die set. The large lemon and small lemon are one piece, and I like how they have the spotted embossed detail. For the sliced lemon, it's two pieces. You have the background, then the inside area, and I used a lighter yellow cardstock for that piece. On the two smaller lemons, I'm attaching the stem with the two leaf pieces putting a small drop of artiste glue on the back and adhering it to the end of the lemon. I also cut out five individual leaves and I'll be tucking those in behind the lemon a little bit later on in the video. Now I'll start working on the sentiment. There are two words, hello sunshine. I cut out the outline piece from some white cardstock. I used a darker yellow cardstock color for the word sunshine. And the word hello, I use the same brown cardstock that I use for the background of the card. The word sunshine is almost all one piece. I'm using a pair of reverse tweezers to hold that die cut piece. I'll put artiste glue on the back and I have the ultra fine tip on my glue bottle. It's the perfect size tip when you need just that little bit of glue behind your die cut pieces. I'll first adhere the word sunshine. Then I'll add the individual letters for the word hello. And even though they are individual letters, they're very easy to line up with the outline piece. Then using the wax tip end of the Craft Pick Pro Tool, I'll pick up that teeny tiny little yellow circle and dot the eye. Now it's time to add all the die cut pieces on my card. I'll start with the sentiment. I'll be popping it up with some foam dimension. I'm using the 1 8 inch strips and this is the one millimeter thickness. 
So it'll add just that little extra dimension. I'll make sure to get good coverage on the back of the sentiment. And I will use a pair of scissors to cut some of the foam pieces. If you remove the backing from the foam strip, it's easy to manipulate around curves. And that's what I did behind the letter O. Now I'll add the sentiment on my card. I'm adhering it about half an inch down from the very top. I'll also be popping up all of the lemons using the small round foam. And I have all three sizes, the one millimeter, two millimeter, and the three millimeter. The two larger lemons will be in the background and I'll pop them up using the one millimeter foam. I'll add one of the small rounds and I'm also using some of the negative area. No point of wasting any of that foam. I'll add two of the leaves behind the lemon on the right side. And I am trimming off the very bottom of the leaf die cut pieces. You won't see it since I am tucking it in behind the lemon. I won't put glue at the very tip of the leaves. That way I can curl them up slightly for a little extra dimension. Now I'll add the second larger lemon on the right side of the card. And this time I only use the negative foam area. I did trim off just a tiny bit of the foam so it's not peeking out behind the lemon. Now I'll add three leaves behind the second lemon, putting two at the top and one underneath on the right side. Doing the same thing, trimming off the bottom portion of the leaves, putting a little bit of Artis glue on the back, then tucking them behind the lemon. If you don't want to trim down the leaves, you could always add those first, then adhere the lemon on top. Next, I'll add a lemon slice on the left side. This time I'll pop it up using some of the two millimeter small round foam. But in the area where the sliced lemon sits on the larger lemon, I will add a one millimeter small foam round. After removing the release paper, I'll adhere the sliced lemon. I have two more lemons. These are the smaller sized lemons with the stem and the two leaves. And for both of those, I will be popping them up using the three millimeter small rounds. For the small lemon on the left side of the card, on the area where it sits on top of the other lemons, I will add a one millimeter small round. For the final lemon on the right side, I'm only adding the three millimeter small rounds. The last lemon will sit slightly in front of the larger lemon on the right side and the sliced lemon on the left side. Now remove the release paper and adhere it in place. For a final finishing touch, I'll add a little bit of sparkle to the word sunshine. I'm using a glitter brush and this is the sunshine yellow color. This does add yellow color along with that beautiful sparkle. So I'm being very careful to stay just on the word sunshine. I don't want any of that yellow glitter on the white outline piece. I've never been a fan of loose glitter, but I love scrapbook.com's glitter markers. They add that beautiful sparkle without making a big glitter mess. So there is my finished card. I love how this one turned out. Now let's move on to the stamped image version. I will be using four of the stamped images. I have the lemon, the lemon slice, the stem with leaves, and also the double leaves. I've already gone ahead and set them up in my Rose Quartz Misty. And the ink I'm using is Honeybee Stamps Intense Black Ink. To help get a nice solid impression, I am using the Rose Quartz Stamping Tool from LDRS. Now I'll stamp the solid section of the images. I use Catherine Pooler's Grass Skirt Ink Color for the leaves. And for the lemons, I have Catherine Pooler's Lime and Cello. On the die cut lemons, I added that little extra ink at the very top. For the stamped lemon, I'm using the same Sonic color and inking up just that very edge of the stamp. Since I don't want the sliced lemon to have the white in the background, I use the leftover ink on my blending brush to fill in that white area. So now it's a light yellow instead. Now I'll cut out the stamped images using the coordinating dies from the You're So Sweet set, and I'll hold those dies in place with some mint tape. I've already gone ahead and stamped and cut out several other lemons and leaves. 
The ink color by Katherine Pooler will lighten slightly. You can see the difference from the two different leaf sets that I stamped. I'll set the images aside for now and start working on the sentiment. The stamp sentiment is part of the Sunshine Bloom stamp set. When I was recording the voiceover, the outline dies weren't available, but luckily the outline from the Hello Sunshine word die set fits perfectly with the stamp sentiment. So I cut out that piece from some white cardstock, kept the negative, and I'm holding the die cut in place with some mint tape on the back side. I'm also using one of scrapbook.com's clearly amazing multi-use mats, and I have one in my Misty. I removed the cover on the front so that whole piece has a tacky finish. Just like the die cut version of my card, I'll have this sentiment in two different colors. For the word sunshine, I'm using Katherine Pooler's sauna ink color. And for the word hello, I'm using Katherine Pooler's icing on the cake ink color. When stamping the word sunshine, I first masked off the word hello using some mint tape. Then before stamping it on my die cut piece, I removed the mint tape. And I did ink it up twice to get a solid impression. When stamping the word hello, this time I put the mint tape over the stamped word sunshine. And just to play it safe, I did put two pieces of mint tape down. I didn't want the dark brown ink color to go through the mint tape. Now I'll remove the tape and pop the sentiment out. And I'll use the piercing side of my Craft Pro Pick tool to pop out the center of the O. Now it's time to add the stamp sentiment and images on the card. And I'm basically following the same layout as my die cut version card. I put the one millimeter foam dimension on the back of the sentiment. I'll adhere it at the top of the card. The one big difference between the stamp version and the die cut version, with the stamps, there's only one size of the lemons. I'll still be adding the four whole lemons and the one sliced lemon. The difference is the whole lemons are all the same size. On two of the lemons, I'll add the stem with the two leaves. And yes, I forgot to pull out the silicone mat from my second card, and I did get a little bit of glue on my craft surface. For the two lemons in the back, I'll add some of the one millimeter foam. I'm using the small rounds again. I did cut some of the negative area for the first lemon. I'll adhere that on the left side of the card. For the second lemon, I'll add some of the small rounds, adhere it on the right side of the card. For the leaves, I stamp the double leaves, and I'm cutting those in half. On the stamp set, there is a single leaf image, but it's much larger. And I did use it on a card. I'll show you that here at the end. But I prefer the smaller size with the double leaves. And since I'm cutting it in half and tucking it behind the lemons, no one will know it's supposed to be one image. The nice thing with the double leaf image, the leaves are facing two different directions. So there's a little more variety. I'll add two of the leaves behind the lemon on the left side and three leaves behind the lemon on the right side. Next, I'll add the sliced lemon. I'll pop it up using the small rounds. This is the two millimeter size, same as I did for the previous card. I'll also add the one millimeter in the area where it sits on the other lemon. I'll remove the release paper and attach my sliced lemon. Now I have the two final lemons that'll sit in front. I'll pull out the three millimeter small rounds, put foam dimension on the back. I did put a one millimeter small round behind the stem for the lemon on the right side, since it'll be sitting on the sliced lemon. I'll remove the release paper and adhere the lemon on the left side of the card. Then I'll add foam dimension behind the final lemon, remove the release paper and adhere it on the right side of the card. And I'm using the three millimeter small rounds for the final lemon. And there is my finished stamp version of the card. I did make a second one and you can see here I used the single leaf and I felt it was way too big. I really prefer the smaller leaves behind the lemons. And here you can see the two different cards side by side. I have the die cut version on the left and the stamped image version on the right. I love lemons and I really like how both of the cards turned out. 
Which one is your favorite, the die cut version or the stamped image version? If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.